Is it possible to get into boating if you don't have a lot of money? Well, that's what we're gonna try to find out. So we're gonna do a budget boat build. Now, when I say budget, I don't mean $150,000 for a new wakeboard boat, and I don't mean $40,000 for a new pontoon boat. I'm talking about the people out there with maybe $2,000 who are just sick of being on land and wanna get out on the water. So is it worth buying some old used boat off Craigslist and trying to fix it up? Over the next couple months, we're gonna try and find out. We'll keep track of the budget, we'll add it all up at the end and see how we ended up. So let's get going. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Wave. So this is a 1974 genuine POS boat. This just isn't any POS boat. This is actually my first boat that I bought on Craigslist many years ago. So it's a 1974 15 foot runabout. It's made by VIP. They don't exist anymore. And one of the guys came up with the name Booty Hunter just as a joke and it kind of stuck. So it's been rotting away in a field since 2017 and the way it sits, it's worth about 500 bucks. So go on Craigslist right now to the boat section, put in $500 max, and you're gonna find these 1970s and 1980s piece of crap boats all day long. So that's our starting budget, 500 bucks. Okay, first things first, gotta get up in here, start ripping the floor out because it's rotted away. Then we'll get in the back, start looking at the engine, see what it needs. All right, I've got the seats ripped out of this thing. Trash can's already full of all this garbage. It looks disgusting in here. Got moss growing. Here's the whole reason we're tearing this thing apart. Uh, the floor is shot, so I don't know if you can see that very good. Let's see. There's not much floor left. A little crunchy. The last time we had it out four years ago, when you went over a wave, you could see the wave come through the floor. And that's never good in the boat. You never want to be riding the waves inside of the boat. All right, I've got the floor out. I've got the carpet out. Check this out. Yes, this piece of fiberglass just pulled out by hand and then the wood is just gone. And Let's see. So the wood is waterlogged and then they filled the boats with foam and that's all waterlogged too. So this boat probably weighs 500 pounds more than it should because there's that much water in here. That stringer that's in there is shot. So what I'm gonna do is rip the floor out, take all this foam out and put normal stringers back in and some ribs to make it stronger and leave it open with weep holes so that it can drain back into the bilge and not do this foam crap. I don't know why they filled the boats with this foam because once water starts getting in, it just soaks it up and it never dries out. So I don't know what they were smoking back in 1974, but it was pretty good apparently. I've been at this for uh, a couple evenings after work now. This is a disaster, man. All right, I am exhausted. I've got all of the floor and the foam out of this thing, all the way up to the bow there. So what do you guys think all that crappy waterlogged foam weighed? I was curious. So I bagged it up and got the scale out. Got nine bags of this crap. The floor is separate. The floor is in this trash can. Got the bags here. Got the scale out. There's your total. 393. So 400 pounds of foam we were carrying around in this thing. So that's like an extra two people just riding around all those years. So maybe we'll get a little better fuel mileage now that we're not carrying that crap around. We'll see. Okay, I tried to turn the motor over with the old pry bar trick and a jack handle. And they don't put nuts on the front of these cranks. So just had to put some bolts in there. And you can see I bent them pretty good. And uh, 
can't get it to turn over. So this engine is locked up, locked up good. All right, so working our way down, valve cover came off. It looks good under there. There's still oil on top of the rockers. But here we go. Took the carburetor off. Look down in there. This is not good. And there's water moving around in there. So that's a bad sign. I think you guys can see where this is going. Okay, mystery solved. I think it's pretty clear why the engine wouldn't turn over. So obviously water was leaking down into the carburetor somehow. Again, I don't get it because the little doghouse is on it. So it must've come in through a boat cover and seeped in and through my little doghouse mailbox scoops into the carburetor just over the years, I guess. Okay, so the old engine, totally screwed. I got on Craigslist, found a guy that had a replacement engine out of a 1980s boat, and he was here within 24 hours. So here we go, replacement engine. The rest of this video, we're just gonna see if we can get this thing to run or not. It's a Mercruiser. It's a 3.0 Litre. Now I'll do the conversion for you, I'm not French, but one litre is also equal to one liter. And so this comes out to three liters or 0.79 gallons, or they kind of help you out here, a 181 cubic inch four cylinder. So they only got 130 horsepower out of this thing back in the day. And you can see the point gap and dwell listed on here. So you know it's a points distributor. Uh, I've got the distributor out of the old engine. I converted it to electronic back in the day, so at some point we'll put that in. But for today, we'll see if we can get it running on the old points. Uh, it's a mechanical fuel pump. Uh, I'm gonna bypass that, just hook up an electric fuel pump for now to the carburetor. Um, I think we've got to, we'll bypass the choke. So I'll just zip tie the choke open because I'm not gonna wire up the electronic choke. There we go. What the hell are all the wires on this fucking thing? Okay, I think we're ready. It's time to push this thing out in the driveway, try to fire it up for the first time. Got our JDM 
attack, zip tied here. Starter, ignition on the old nitro switch there. It also is gonna turn the tack on. Throttle control, it's gonna be our hand right there. And if all else fails and it blows up, we've got the fire extinguisher ready to go. So you guys are gonna see this just as I do. No camera trickery. We're gonna roll it out, see if it actually fires up. Be good. We'll give her a couple pumps on that. Ignition on. Let's see what happens. Nada. That should be plenty of fuel. Spark plug test, so. It's a little easier. See if we get some spark. Yeah, it's easy enough to see. Ignition. No spark. Whoa! Look at that. Oil is coming out of the fuel. I mean, the oil filter seal. What the heck? And that's good. I guess there's oil pressure, but that means that thing's leaking. What the hell is that? Okay, so no spark and the oil's leaking. Let's work on that. All right, so no spark still. We've changed the cap and rotor. They're brand new spark plugs. Only thing we haven't done is a new coil or condenser. Now I don't have a condenser. I've got a coil from the old boat we could try, but I think I'm gonna just put the distributor from the old boat in right now. It's got this Pertronics electronic ignition. So see, no points. It's a little magnet and it's a Hall effect. So as this magnet spins, it triggers and tells the coil, coil to fire instead of this old mechanical points opening to break the circuit. All right, attempt number 37, something like that. Old distributor's out. We've got the distributor off the old engine with the Pertronics digital module in there, hot in the ground ran to it. Turned it over, saw one spark from the spark plug. So let's try and fire this thing up now. Hmm. It wants to run, it wants to run. Why won't it run? Why won't it run? Attempt, uh, like 300. Oh, 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 we're getting close, we're getting close. Um, okay. Uh, fuel, we need more fuel, we need more fuel. Let's get more fuel.
Oops, I had the starter going that whole damn time. Let's see if the starter's still alive. Yep, good. Oh, that was awesome. Okay. All right, guys, so there it is, start to finish, getting a Craigslist boat engine to run. The guy did not rip us off. It actually ran pretty good. So I think this is good enough to put into the boat. So at least now we've got an empty hull so we can get in here, start getting the stringers in, get the new floor in. I'm not sure what colors we'll paint the boat. Maybe we'll keep it yellow, we'll see. And then I think we're getting a little old to have Booty Hunter plastered on the side of the boat. So maybe we'll do like a little BH, something like that, maybe an homage to the old Booty Hunter name. But either way, we'll keep you guys updated on the project and the budget. We'll see where we come out and we'll see you guys on the next one.